Hello, Maniac for Bricks here. Time for another Lego video. In this video, we're going to be talking about 1-2-V. Hello, Brickbuster here. We're going to talk about 1-2-V. What is 1-2-V? I don't know. Hi, it's Friction Pin. Does anybody remember me? That's Ralph DeBrill, and he has the coolest mustache on all of YouTube. Stack down bricks! Lost in Australia. What's up, YouTube? THX 1138. Actually, that's Genblade 8304. And I am the Lego Freak. These bricks have no clutch power. I don't know who that is. George Lucas, after THX 1138... It was all downhill. And what does this have to do with anything? Hey, it's Brigzor. Do you think if I used this thing for the whole review, it'd be real annoying? We got these two 1 2 V sets. What is 1 2 V, you may ask? You won't get an answer. Is this guy bothering you? Hey, it's Brickzar. What is this guy doing here? I do not know what's been going on. Things have been strange here at the Circle K. Hey, where where did everybody go? Turn around. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore, guys. So. Uh, Welcome to a Brigzar video. If you're new to this channel, you never know what I'm going to do. Because I don't ever use a script. And I'm pretty random. But this is train month. I've been looking at train items. And these are going to be two lesser known items. I guess they're not technically train items. But they're important for train enthusiasts. Especially if you like trains from the late 60s and early 70s. We got two items from the 12 volt era. I don't know what, what, what Maniac for Bricks just sent everybody down the wrong path. <laughs> I'm blaming it all on Maniac. You made me say it. I don't even do it. I don't, I don't do a Maniac for Bricks impression, so one day I one day I'm going to come up with some voices and some impressions, uh, but I'm not in, I'm not that I'm not good at that. <laughs> so these are two tiny boxes. Some of the smallest boxes uh, you will ever see for Lego items. These are technically not sets. What can you do with these items? Well, we'll start with the smallest one first. This one only has one piece in it. This one has four. And this is set... What set is it? 705. 705. It's either four and a half volts or twelve and a half volts. What can we do with it? Oh, the kids will love playing with this. Woohoo! They are salt and pepper shakers. They are what are they? What are these things? They look It says they're bushings. <laughs> I can't read the small print. Okay. What are we going to do with these bushings? I guess we'll put them in the bushes. And while we're at it, we're going to open this one up. This is set 703. Also from 19... Did I say both of these? Both of these are from 1969. 1969. Oh, I can't open it without tearing the lid. Oh, the lid, the lid, the lid, the lid, the lid, the lid, the lid. And this is... That's a Lego piece? What is this? A Bueller. 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 Yeah, that would have been a good time to pull out Ferris Bueller. I don't know where I put him. Anyway, so this is actually a 12-volt motor. It's hard to see on this, but the yellow right there, can I zoom in on that? It says 12V. That's 12-volt. That's 12V. <laughs> and so, actually what this is, you can change... Well, actually, you can replace a 12-volt motor, or you can upgrade your 4.5-volt motor to a 12 volt motor. You're, and these come in these little cases. 
something like this. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to show you, I think, what these parts are for and that. Now there are several different variations of Lego motors. This is the original um, style. I mean, there. this is, uh, actually I think this one here is a newer one. But anyway, this, the typical style is you had these plugs where the batteries would uh, plug into. You'd have wires that go here and they go to a battery box, whether it be on a train, it would be like a, uh, a box car that disguised, that had batteries in it. And, um, or it could be a separate box. All right, so I'm taking, this one only has the two screws. There are also blue, yellow uh, versions of this, uh, mostly blue, I think, and black. But anyway, so you take this off and you look, there's Bueller's 4 volt brother. And this is one of the easiest changes. So just like that, <laughs> you can change it to a 12 volt motor. And so if you want to see what the inner workings of a motor looks like, you got all the gears and everything there. But this is not all there is to it. There's also I don't know about taking this part out. Oh, this is where I'm going to break something. There's probably a direction somewhere on how to take this out without breaking it. Or maybe this is a newer version. This actually, this might be a newer version. So the bushings would go, I think, where the axles connect and since that I don't think that it works so I'm going to put the four volt motor back in there and they leave the little they have the little opening there so you can see <laughs> red um, one of the things I, I think I talked about this in old videos might not even been on this channel I've been on my original channel I don't remember but uh, I originally when I was trying to complete a 12 volt train set I needed the 12 volt motor and I didn't know about this about how easy it was to change these out and so I bought one of these black that was said it was listed as 12 volt motor well the 12 volt is much more rare than a four and a half volt so they're usually like way more expensive <laughs> in the twenty dollar range versus a few dollars for this and so I bought one and it came and it was this and the seller didn't know he just looked on BrickLink and saw something that was similar to what he had and thought he didn't know that there were two different versions. I think it was an honest mistake. Um, so after that, every time I order, I would say, is the label red or yellow? <laughs> There's no way to just get that message. Is it red or yellow? I didn't say, is it 4 volt or 12 volt? I say, is it red? If you look at the top, is it red or yellow? That's how, <laughs> if it's yellow, you got a 12 volt. If it's red, you got a 4 volt. So I'm thinking that some of these blue ones, it's, it's a different motor. So some of the original blue do not have that uh, same insides. They're actually got metal gears instead of plastic gears. And I think that the blue ones tend to be some of the strongest uh, train motors ever made that LEGO has made. Uh, they're slow and they're not as... Uh, ideal for building but uh, they're very strong strong because of the the way they're designed might as well might as well throw a yellow one in there while we're doing this so let me i've never opened this yellow one up and i've never replaced bushings either so there's that i think it shows here where the bushings go on this little box here so you got to get the whole motor assembly out and I'm just not to the point where I really want to do that. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this. This yellow one's actually probably one of the more modern ones of them all. Yeah, there's got to be a way. There's got to be a, a clip or something. I'm looking at the box. It doesn't say... How does this... Oh, it's connected in there pretty good. Try to see that clips off. Oh, there we go. Now we got. Now we're cooking with gas or farts or something. Hold on a minute. 
There, there's the bushing right there. <laughs> yeah, almost got it. I know I'm going to break it. Okay, so you got to pull this. See if I can take this side out first. That might be easier. And then pull this. There we go. We got it out. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Brickzar did something right, and he didn't break it. At least not yet. So these are the bushings, and these are the replacement bushings. So these are practically brand new because I've hardly ever used this motor. And I doubt the previous owner ever used it. It looks almost brand new. But yeah, these wear out. And when they wear out, you could buy this replacement kit to fix it. Isn't that neat? <laughs> All right. And I got it back in there. I'm going to put it back together. Uh-oh. The motor. Put the motor back in there. Have you ever seen a yellow 12 volt motor? I could convert this one to that, uh, but I'm not because I don't think it ever appeared in a set like that. But if you wanted to upgrade, you could do it just that easy. And I'm sorry for set. No, 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 not gonna do it. I said I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I said I'm sorry. Wait, I'm not gonna say I'm sorry, but I just said it. So how, how do I... I don't know how to get out of that. I just went down a hole there. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to put this back. These are just spare parts. And what happened was that when I... That story I told at the beginning where I bought a 4.5 volt motor when I meant when they, they were supposed to send me a 12. Well, I have plenty of the 4.5 volt. One day on eBay, somebody had a whole bunch of these for sale in one lot. Pretty cheap. And I think it was a buy it now. But I got like four or five of these uh, sealed like this. It's not... And so I bought that. And then this was just something I wanted to get just for curiosity. Just to see the box, have the box and the pieces. I'll never likely ever use those. Um, it's 19... Wait a minute. This came out in 1969. <laughs> it's 2019. After 50 years of me never having to replace a bushing because I don't run my stuff that much and a lot of times it's just I would probably just buy another motor <laughs> but just in case I got this this 50 years oh wait a minute I'm actually older than these sets bricks are man that's sad anyway I hope you found this video informative um may have wasted some of your time. I don't know. I'm just doing this because it's fun and that's what I want to do. So uh, if you like that, you want to learn more about Lego stuff you never saw before, be sure to subscribe and check out some of these other great YouTubers. I was, <laughs> when I started this video, I realized, you know what, I got to get my sig figs organized. So the different characters at the beginning, most of them, except for Brickbuster, and the big yellow thing are not sig figs but um yeah i need to to get track of some of those that's vintage vixar bricks are <laughs> right there all right so thanks for watching it's train month i love trains do you love trains subscribe to bricks are and to trains are fun see you in the next video bye